Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video about development of surfaces, we are going to draw a hexagonal pyramid standing on its base having a circular hole drilled through it. This is a hexagonal prism, a hexagonal pyramid, 30 mm side of base, 70 mm axis standing on its base on the ground with a side of base parallel to VP or two base sides, two base sides parallel to VP. Hexagonal pyramid, 30 mm side, 70 mm axis standing on its base with a side of base parallel to VP. Okay. I have drawn the plan and derivation A, B, C, D, E, F. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, O dash, axis side 70. Then I took the true length of the slant edge. This is the true length of the slant edge. Since one side is parallel to VP, one slant edge OA is parallel to XY line in the plan. This position is OA in the plan slant edge, plan in XY is parallel to VP, elevation true length. So this is true length of slant edge. Take this distance in your compass, choose O anywhere, draw an arc. Take a starting point. A, take the distance AB in your compass, B, C, D, E, F, A, and connect. And then connect AB straight line, DC straight line, CD straight line, DE straight line, EF straight line, FA straight line. Arc of the, such an arc doesn't exist. That arc is drawn so as to find out the points. Because if you draw a circle with O as center, O A as radius, there is a circle and these points lie on that circle. That is why we draw like that. Okay. Now, locate a point 25 mm above the base and draw a circle whose diameter is 30. The diameter of the circle is 35. Means 30 diameter. Now, four points, four points lie on the slant edges. 1, 2, 3, 4. You need more points. What you do is draw a line. Draw a line connecting or passing through this tangential to the circle from O or dash. There and here also. Name this M dash and name this N dash. Drop M dash down. M, M, N, N. Take this axis. Or take a line here. Which is this line? This line, this line coincides with the axis. It connects the center of BC to the apex. It is on the slant uh, triangular face. It's on the triangular face, connecting the center of BC, BC, center of BC to the apex. It's a line. It coincides with the axis. I call this M N Q dash. So, this is Q, this is Q. Locate M. M is on the way from A to B, this far away. A to B, this far away. M. So, D to C, same. N. D to C, N. D to E, N. D to E, N. F to A, M, F to A, M, connect them. M. N. N. M. Now, where are our points? Name this 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 
फोर डैश फाइव डैश फाइव डैश सिक्स डैश सेवन डैश एट डैश ओके वेर इज वन डैश वन डैश इज ओन ओ डैश एम डैश इज दिस ओ डैश एम डैश इक्वल टू दिस ओ एम नो इट्स नॉट इफ If O M small O M is parallel to X Y line, O dash M dash is same as O dash M dash will be true line, and this is actually true line, so they will be same. If O M is parallel to X Y line, this O dash M dash will be equal to this O M. It is not parallel to X Y. What what? Therefore, what we have to do? O as center, O M as radius. Draw an arc. You get a point called M one. This point is called the M1. Project it to X Y line. You get the point here. That is called the M1 dash. Where is it? This point. Connect it. Connect it to O dash. This line is two line. You get it? This O dash M1 dash is equal to this O M. O dash M one dash is equal to O M. So where is one? Draw a horizontal line through one. One dash. You get a point here. One one dash. That is also same as five one dash. Take this O dash one one dash. O dash one one dash. And mark on this O M. O dash one one dash is equal to. O dash phi one dash is equal to O one equal to O phi. So take this O dash one one dash and mark here to get to what one phi phi one. Agree? One phi one phi. Then. Where is two dash, four dash, six dash, eight dash? They are on slant edges. Whose true length is available here? So draw a horizontal line. Draw a horizontal line through two dash to the true length. You get two one dash. Two one dash. Horizontal line through two dash will pass through four dash, so that is sufficient. Also draw a horizontal line through eight dash. You get what eight one dash. Take O dash two one dash and mark on this two at the same level four at the same level four at the same level two. Okay. Take O dash eight. So so I write here what O dash two one dash equals O. Two equals O four. Now take O dash eight one dash. O dash eight one dash equals O eight equals O six. Mark it. Six eight. Six, eight, six, eight. Okay. Now, what is remaining? Three and seven. Three and seven again lie on a line on for which two length is not available. Where is Q? Q is at the center of BC. Q. Similarly, Q one connect. Can you mark this O dash three dash and mark on this O Q? No, because this O dash two dash is not is equal not equal to this O Q, not equal to this O Q one. 
what you have to do you have to find out the true length of oq what do you do o as center oq as radius draw an arc q this is q q1 project it to x y line q1 dash agree draw a horizontal line this o dash q1 dash o dash q1 dash is equal to o q o dash q1 dash is equal to o q draw a horizontal line through 3 dash draw a horizontal line through 7 dash you get 3 1 dash 7 1 dash take those distances and mark 3 7 3 1 2 7 okay now connect it will come something like this One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. it is not circular it will have a peculiar shape when you draw with actual dimension you will get the correct shape i am just taking proportions so the shape may not be perfectly true i hope you understand 2 4 6 8 draw project horizontal projectors horizontal lines go to true length of slanted mark okay 1 dash and 5 dash lay on additional lines find the true length mark them horizontally to that and reproduce them 3 and 7 lay on another line for which true length has to be found out find that make it parallel to so in the plan find its true length and reproduce it the grid Very very important question. Very very important question. Standard question. I have seen this problem worked out in a wrong manner in a textbook. I am not naming the textbook. I don't know whether that is corrected in the later editions. It was initially worked out wrongly in a textbook. What they have done is they have projected all points to the true length of slanted and marked on them. Marked on simply. or they have drawn additional lines and mark it is wrong you have to find its true length and then project them to the true length and mark it is wrong you worked out i hope you understand if you are happy if you are understanding this if you are finding it easy to understand easy to follow please subscribe my channel like it and share among your friends okay thank you